Hi everybody, Flat Out Bank Angling here. We're going to have a little discussion, do two unboxings. Hang in there, enjoy. Hey everybody, I had a good weekend this weekend. Nothing major, uh, fish, you know, fish size wise, but almost had a huge one. So I went out Friday, I was only out for about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, it was raining. It wasn't raining when I started, but it started raining during the time. Uh, I was using my GoPro filming, and at one point I just had to shut it off, it was raining too hard. But it was like a bluegill slam, okay? I was slaying bluegill. I would, I would throw my line in, catch one, bring it in, take that off, toss it back in, throw the line out, hit another one, just like that. It kept going boom, boom, boom. It was amazing. But I should have kept some. Because on Saturday, I went down to the lake that I'll be going for my tournament, my catfish tournament. I figured I'd go to that lake get a feel for it, see what it's like, catch some bluegill, use them as cut bait, and try to catch some catfish. But when I got there, I caught a two inch little bass, I caught a big crappy, I caught a little itty bitty tiny pumpkin seed, I caught two bullhead catfish, I caught a black and a brown. I never came across any Blue, any bluegills that I could use as cut bait. I caught one bluegill. That one bluegill I couldn't use because it was full of eggs. And there's no way I was going to get rid of that fish. Okay? He wasn't being dispatched. He was going back. Okay? Uh, there's a, another video with the pictures. Video with the pictures because I ended up leaving my camera, my GoPro, in my car that day. And I had a long walk from my car to the lake. So I wasn't going back to get it, so I only took pictures. But while I was there, I wasn't looking to catch anything big since I didn't have any cut bait. And I only had a little number six hook one, figuring I'll just catch some, you know, maybe, maybe a carp, or maybe uh, some more bullheads. Well, all of a sudden I see my rod go crazy. And I start cranking this thing, man. It was it was the heaviest thing I ever had on my line, ever. I get it and it comes to the top of the water. And the best I could tell you, it was either a huge channel cat, which I don't think it was a huge channel cat really, or it was a blue catfish. It was very heavy. I got it within five feet of the bank, and because I had a little tiny hook, the hook broke off. And I lost it. And I, it was the best fight I ever had of any fish. So I do know they're in there. And I was using worms, of all things, that, that landed this thing. So if they're going to eat worms, I know they're going to go for these bluegills. And the reason why I probably couldn't catch the bluegill is because there's probably so many dang catfish in there. They're eating them all, a good part of the lake, a good half of the lake. And that one bluegill, that's hard to believe, knowing that they catfish eat the bluegill. But there was one other thing. I ended up using the, the pumpkin seed as live bait. It was so tiny and, and I figured out, ah, you know what, I wasn't catching any bluegill I do that well I call it the big snapper snapping turtle he was fantastic and you know I got him out he was gone but he was nice man he was a heavy dude man he's got some ears on him. so that's pretty much the fishing except for Sunday so I set out on Sunday since I didn't have any luck on Saturday with catching cut bait, I figured I'd go back to the spot that I was at on Friday, which is one of my favorite spots by the way, and catch some bluegill. I figured I'd catch a good dozen and I'll, I'll bring them home, freeze them up, and I'm going to use them for cut bait. 
Well, I get there and the bluegill, they weren't as abundant as they were on Friday, which was strange. I was casting to the one side and I kept pulling them out left and right on Friday. I couldn't get anything out of that spot. I just moved around a little bit and I was thrown across the little channel part of it, of the lake, and that's where they were. And I started catching them left and right. They weren't all big ones, but when I got, I wanted some big ones for the cup bait. But I got medium to bigs uh, that I kept. But I caught another, you know, 20 to 30 bluegill, but I only kept a dozen, you know. But I just wanted to spend some time out there. It was a nice day. So I got my cup bait now. I'm probably not going to use them all for the tournament because the tournament's actually only three and a half hours long, which means I have to hit it hard, hit it fast, and get quality fish. I don't have time to play around. But I picked out a spot, somewhat of a spot. I'm going to see what happens that day where people are going to be at because I want to get my spot located. And hopefully I get there before other people set up. And I, the guy that's running the tournament has been catching catfish out of the river, which is right there. I mean, it's probably about 25 yards from the lake. He's been catching cats from the river and putting them in the lake. So I know there are blues in there. I don't think I'm going to come across the flathead. But that would be pretty awesome. But I know there's some blues in there. because He had pictures of the blues that he put in. I know there's channels and obviously there's bullhead, but you're not going to win anything catching a bullhead. So I want I want the big ones, and uh, it looks good. I, I like the lake. It's a beautiful area. I mean, it's a really nice area as long as it ain't windy. I've been down there twice, and the one time it was just ridiculously windy. I couldn't even cast a line that's out windy because there's no there's no blocking the wind coming off the river. But just beautiful area. I'm gonna to go to, when I go down for the tournament. <clears throat> I'm gonna obviously have my camera as long as I don't lock it in the car, and I'm also gonna take some pictures and stuff, and you know it'll be posted. Hopefully, that that video is gonna be awesome. You're gonna see me get a trophy. They have four trophies available. I don't know if there's any other prizes. There's no money involved because it's a free tournament. And it's actually <clears throat> it's actually a church running the tournament. It's their fourth year in a row. First year I'm doing it. And I like catching cats, but I've never really focused on, you know, catching uh, blues and flatheads. On top of that, that's June 1st. On top of that, um, from Memorial Day on, there's a place I like to go and you can rent a kayak for five dollars an hour you gotta have it for at least three hours so it's fifteen dollars right there unless they raise the price but I'm looking to go out there one day at least uh, in June rent, my, rent a kayak and go out and catch some fish the last time I did that I caught two over two pound largemouth bass and my first ever pick roll and that's going to be about I want to say two and a half three years ago uh, it was a good day I guess I was only out there for three hours because it started to have a storm and they call you in when it starts getting cloudy it looks like it's going to uh, thunder and lightning so I actually ended up with an average of one fish an hour and I did good they were nice fish had a good time it was pretty shallow in one part but there's a moving channel uh, that you can take back further and I'll probably go back further this time. Being new and I was a lot bigger back then, uh, weight wise. I was just taking my time and, and learning what to do and all that it was fun. It's the first time ever fishing on a kayak. You know, I haven't really done so well with bass. I've targeted them and I just, I can't find them. You know, I hate to say, the weather and all that but let me tell you it's been raining uh, the water temperature goes up to 70 drops down to the 50s it's you know dirty water everything you can imagine 
but I, it's not like I'm not trying. But I'm not going to keep putting up videos of me trying to catch bass and come up empty-handed. So. So I, I, that's why I put up the videos of me doing the, uh, the multi-species trying to catch different panfish and stuff like that because those I find when I can't find bass. And it's funny is I'll catch bass usually when I'm multi-species fishing, not trying to target bass. You know, the, the two bass that I caught this year, which were one inch and two inches, were both caught during times I wasn't bass fishing. So, and usually I'll catch a, you know, at least a pound and a half, two pounder, just throwing around a little trout magnet or something like that. So, got a lot going on. You know, I got some really good giveaways I've been winning. I've won a couple of bait casting reels, okay? All kinds of uh, lures and plastics and stuff like that are still coming in. I, it, it's just getting so out of hand that I can't make a video for all of it. <laughs> I'm on a rod right now. And I'm waiting for another one to come in. It's a, a lose black and blue American hero. When you're winning, who cares? And I actually like my other big caster, my first real big caster that what is a lose American hero I had no problem with that and that's that's kind of like the tannish one but they're all good reels and can't wait I got to put line on this one I just received this one the other day got to put some line on it I'm gonna put braid when I get the um, the other American hero the black and blue I'm gonna put braid on that it's gonna be my first time using braid on a bait caster on this, I think I'm going to go with mono for crankbaits because of the speed. Um, I have mono and fluorocarbon on. I have fluorocarbon on the $180 lose, and I have mono on both the other lose and my other Abu Garcia Silver Max. So. I think that's how I'm going to break that down. I want to have different things going on. But I figured I'd use the, Amer the black and blue American Hero maybe for more power because of the lower gear ratio. So I'll put braid on that and try that out. I hope I do good because that stuff, man, you <laughs> you birds nest with that. You might as well just cut this stuff off from there because that stuff's not going to come out like mono and the, the floral. But uh, let's get down to the unboxings. I got two unboxings. Again, one of them I got for free. I used to be a member of Lucky Tackle Box. And I, I maybe got it for maybe six to eight months. And it seemed like I was always getting the same stuff or the same kind of stuff and it wasn't really nothing exciting. Well, over the last, I'm going to say, six months, there's been time. Also won some and giveaways, to be honest with you. Won some Lucky Tackle Boxes and giveaways. But Lucky Tackle Box sent me an email. I thought it was a scam. <clears throat> telling me that I won a coupon for a free box. Now the free boxes I've got before were actual giveaways I entered. I didn't enter any giveaway for this. So that's why I thought it was a scam. So instead of clicking on the link in the emails, I just went to the like look tackle box site, looked over what they had, entered the coupon code that they told me to have to put in there 
and I could pick any box that I wanted for free for one for one box well the last time I had the opportunity to do something like that because they did, they did it one time before but it was I won a lucky tackle box box and it, the person sent me a code that I would use um, like an idiot I just chose the uh, regular boxes not, not the low box that's the next one up well this time I said what the heck why not go for the big one right so I got the tournament box which is normally $46 I got it for free free shipping free box so here, here's what was here's what's in that box Glasses on to read some of the stuff. Now, I know everybody's pretty much familiar with Lucky Tackle Box and the size of the boxes. And this box, being a tournament box, is going to have more in it than your standard other boxes. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. Uh, this is a big mouth baits, loud baits for large fish. And it looks like a popper. It's got rattles in it. It's like a, I'm gonna say, kind of like a perch pattern on it. Not a real well rattle. It's got kind of like a, Butter type thing on it. Okay. Then we have a Lunker Hunt Froglet. Top water walking bait. Looks like a soft plastic. And it doesn't look like they give me any uh, list in here for prices on this stuff. This is a half ounce, four inch. That's pretty cool. Soft bait. What I have learned is when I have thrown top water stuff, I find that anything with a white belly or a black belly is usually money. That's the stuff to go with. Not so much yellow. Maybe the green, but I'm going to tell you, black and white seem to be the two colors to throw for top water stuff. Uh, we got V&M Super Senate. Give the fish what they really want. It's a cliff pace item. The high tail shad white ice and uh, you know I me mean, this is my kind of color stuff here uh, it's a sealed bag but I'm not gonna open it up right now you can see I like paddle tail swim baits they look real nice it's got that pearlized look that I like where you get the pink the blue the purple then we have these uh, fish belly presents Hog shad. There's no color on it. Uh, this is one of those sealed ones. These are little guys. The little drop shots. They're kind of translucent. Gray and white. I can see that being a little. I could put it on a JK, I'd probably catch some crappies on it. But I'm, I'm gonna say that's more like a, a light line drop shot. Probably put that on my uh, micro light for a drop shot. California Classics Golden State Grub. Package. 
It's an interesting color. It's kind of like a yellowish green. Almost a gold. It smells like plastic. Obviously, that's a uh, could be used for a small, small trailer on a, another multi-species kind kind of thing. Ooh, now this I like here. T Bob. Oh, I'm sorry. T Bone Psycho Minnow. Jerk beak. That's really sharp looking. It's got an orange belly. But a, the pattern on the top with the blue, and the silver, and the black, and the hologram on the side. That looks pretty sharp. I like that a lot. It's a 110 millimeter. 13 grams, which I'm not really good on a translation of that junk. Another jerk bait by the same company, T Bone Minnow. This is a 9.5 grams, 80 millimeter. This is swamp water. This was a speckled minnow. This is a swamp water. Oh my goodness, look at the colors on this thing. You got purple, blue. And orange and chartreuse on the bottom all except for the orange that's the colors I always fish I expect big things out of that bad boy all right these have really I've, I've seen these I don't know if I ever fished any of them smart baits bait changing color baits These I might save for um, October for breast cancer awareness, seeing as they are pink. They do have the ribbon on there. A five inch smart bomb. Doesn't say what color <coughs> it changes to. They usually drop them in the water depending on the temperature of the water. Obviously, they change colors, but they don't have a picture here, so maybe they just stay pink. Good old Cabin Creek. I don't know about you guys, but I like Cabin Creek stuff. Another good multi species lure here. Small spider parts green pumpkin, blue flake, and copper. Look at these, man. Woohoo! <laughs> That's going to do me some good. I like them. Actually, there's different, different ones in here. There's the spider looking one. Then there's this little. Drub looking one with kind of like claws on it. Those are neat. They got a strange kind of smell to them. Kind of slimy. But looking good. I don't know, this might be a river bait here. Ice hole tackle. BB rattler. Extreme blowback. Loud rattle. Shake me. You call that a loud rattle on it. I hate to hear a quiet one. Looks like a perch pattern, but it's got a pink underneath. Perch look on top. Got a big hook on it. 
it's one ounce. That's a pretty heavy lure there for me. I don't usually throw stuff like that. Uh, Cold-blooded baits, VMC hooks. Colors. It's got a pink top, white body, kind of a yellow translucent belly, little shad pattern, little rattles. Now this looks like this might be too deep for me. It doesn't say anything about the depth it goes. It's a nice bait. I don't know. I got something coming up. It's probably going to just be a pop-up. It's not. I'm not going to tell you exactly when it's going to happen, but I have a giveaway coming, and it's going to be a crankbait giveaway. It's going to be different kinds of crankbaits. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when that video pops up because it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a couple bucks worth of uh, baits. If you're familiar with my channel, when I do giveaways, I don't just give away, you know, five, ten dollars worth of stuff. I give away forty to seventy dollars worth of stuff. So be on the lookout. It's coming. I've, I've been collecting some stuff, some prank baits and stuff. You, you're going to want to get in on that. It's going to be a lot of money worth of stuff. Uh, we got two items left here. We got Mustack Wacky Nico hooks, size one. You get six of them in the package. Nice hook. And then we got uh, KBD Mustacks. Uh, you get four of them, size one. Trebles. There's some big ones. Alright, so that's that's the lucky tackle box.